Hello, good people of YouTube. Sea Lord here, and today we are playing Boat Crew. Now, this is a new game from Microprose. They are the same guys that made Carrier Command, a game I featured on the channel, I think a year or so ago. And it focuses on that PT boat mosquito fleet combat during World War II, based in the Solomon Islands. And you can customize your boat, change the weapons on it, the camo, you can customize the crew, and we'll walk you through all that here in a second. Uh, just full disclosure, I did get a code for this game. Uh, Microprose reached out to me and said, hey, look, we got this new game coming out. We think you'd like it, and you think your audience would like it as well. So I did get this for free. This is available in early access on Steam for 20 bucks, so like under half of what a Picardi costs. So you can get a... PT boat game or under half of a Picardi, but yeah. Now, funny enough, I did play this for like three hours, and, and and then my power went out, and I lost all of that. So, yeah, I'm very familiar with the basics of the game, though. I can tell you guys that much, and I've had fun so far. It's been an, it's a really interesting game. It's got a nice little uh, system to it. It's kind of almost like uh, Elden Ring or Dark Souls, and I'll, I'll explain that here in a second. But let me walk you through the boat first. So you can configure your boat almost, well, not almost, pretty much however you want. Um, you have consumables like ammo cans that speed up the reloading of your weapons, uh, repair kits that speed up the repairing of your ship, and of course med kits. Of course you can just stack more and more of this wherever you want to. And these resource points, that's what this whole game revolves around. You have so many resource points to outfit your patrol boat with. Um, for example, the ammo cans and the uh, repair kits, they're 800 for eight of them, right? And see down here, the total value I have for this boat right now is 13,600. You start off with, I think, 6,000, if I'm remembering right from a couple of hours ago. And then as you sink enemies and such, you gain research points, and you can, of course, keep slapping stuff onto your ship. Now, from what I've experienced, the way the gameplay loop works, apparently, is that whatever you don't have slapped onto your ship, if you get sunk, you lose those research points. But if you get back to a port, slap it on your ship, you get to keep that. And that's how I have what I got on there right now. So for the weapons, for example, uh, you can fit various torpedoes, everything from just dummy uh, fired torpedoes to literal homing torpedoes, and you can you can cram a lot of stuff on this boat. It's kind of crazy when you get up there. Um, and again, I, look, you got three slots here. I can literally fit three racks of torpedoes if I really want to, right? Like, th that. that is nuts. That's a lot of firepower on a little boat, right? But um, anyway, the, the configuration I've been mostly running in is what you see here. I've got a uh, twin M2 Madu setup. Whoops, that's the wrong one. In the front, which uh, that's you know glorious American 50 cal firepower. Uh, this Lewis gun is going to get upgraded next to a uh, 50 a dual 50 cal as well. And in the back, I just unlocked this a 20 millimeter Orlikin. This is glorious for blasting Japanese boats out of the water. But look at what you can upgrade to. You can get a, a single 40 millimeter Bofors, and then eventually a dual 40 millimeter Bofors. That's insane. That's just the, in, uh, what you got in the back and the front. You can fit a mortar, you can fit an anti-tank gun, you can fit an auto cannon. Oh my lordy, this is amazing, right? Um, and then you can fit rockets in the front. The the little hedgehog looking launchers, apparently it's called a mouse trap. And then, you know, again, to your heart's content almost, right? And this is still in early access, they're still working on this game as of this video. Uh, you can also outfit the crew as well. Um, over here, you know, you can put the uh, flak vest on, you can, whoops, that's their roll. Uh, you can put the flak vest on, you can put on the strap of the armored vest, life vest, bandoliers with more ammo, and all that jazz. Um, okay, apparently this one's just an, no, it is an ammo bonus, I'll, I'll just have an armor bonus there for a second. Yeah, so forth and so on. I mostly have my guys just with the armored vest, because rather than not die in combat. Now, it does slow them down, and their performing of their duties on deck as you see you got gunners loaders the skipper the xo a medic uh and then uh repairman although my medic is a gunner because um 
I don't know why. There, be a medic. But yeah, and they will perform their various duties as you go about uh, sailing about the Solomons. So let's go ahead and hop into battle, shall we? So this is the, um, I guess you, what you, you would call it the world map. You click where you want to go and the boat will sail about to your design uh, designated location and you speed up time to make uh, that a little bit faster for you. And right now the boat is just spotting, visually spotting, but we do have, um, oh, oh, someone's attacking our home base. We need to make sure that doesn't go anywhere. But you can then activate the radar to get a better idea of what's around you and a transceiver as well. But that of course does draw attention to you. So we're going to go help defend our home because I very much want to have a place where I can, you know, refit my boat. All right. Oh, they have a Fabuki here. That's a destroyer. Okay. This will be interesting. So, of course, once you go into combat, you do control your ship. I'm going to sneak, see if I can sneak up on the left flank, or the right flank of this uh, Fabuki over here. And you see the crews walking around the, de the decks, getting prepared for their for their task. Uh, a couple of them picked up the repair kits. Some have ammo cans. You know, the Lotus have the ammo cans. The repair guys got the ammo kits. Their ammo kits, the repair kits. Yeah, like I said, I've already played this for about three hours, so it's like a little bit after midnight, you know. But uh, I'm having fun with the game, so we're just gonna go ahead and keep rolling f with it throughout the night. So if I can get this Fabuki out first, that'd be a huge pickup. And plus, I have all my uh, repair kits at my disposal afterwards as well. So the torpedoes are dummy guided, but you do get to launch them. Most of the other equipment on deck is. Uh, controlled by the AI. Alright, here we go. We're gonna get this Fabuki both sets of both uh, torpedoes here to make sure he goes down. We haven't been spotted yet. They should be picking us up here pretty soon. Alright. Left torpedo go, right torpedo go. Yep. Well, Bill there just opened up with his BAR against oh, Fabuki, but there we go. We got him. But I <laughs> think we just got absolutely rocked by those guns. Uh, and I believe our crew, yeah, they're having to swim back to us because they got knocked off the off the boat. Oh, that's hilarious that could happen. And all because, what's his name? Um, oh, come on, guys. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Who's got the BAR? He just opened up on the freaking the Japanese destroyer with it. I think that was uh one, one, one of the gunner's mates. Come on, come on, Captain. Oh, no, 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 no. Aww, boat sunk. Oh, man. And see, that's some research. Uh, research. I'm, I'm so stuck on World of Warships. That's some uh, resource points we uh we got back there. Keep in mind, we would have pulled that off if Homeboy didn't hit fire his BAR at a destroyer just right out the gate. <laughs> I'm pretty impressed that the ship survived that initial blast. So like I was saying, uh, you'll see I still have, I'll still have enough research points to um, equip the ship with the weapons and the loadout that I had beforehand now. That's an unintentional good display of that mechanic. All those small boats are still trying to take over the base, so we gotta go prevent that from happening. Alright, here we go. Give them the business. Oh, that is so fast compared to earlier. That 20 millimeter makes a world of a difference. That sunk. Oh, that was so fast. That's so good. Yeah, these landing crafts up here are, in some ways, some of the toughest boats in game, somehow. I don't understand why, but they are. I guess because they're made of steel? I don't know. Oh, look there, we got him already. Man, I, get, I wish I had some of that recording from earlier. Because you had to freaking chew on some of the, these ships to get them down. You know, we're just out here holding out, holding off the entire IJN with uh, our motley crew. crew, Our medic that's on the, the Orlikins absolutely violating his Hippocratic Oath. Now we're going to get to verify something I wasn't able to verify earlier. If the guns still do reload if you're out of the ammo cans. It's looking like that's a no right now. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. We'll see if we can run away and uh, come back with more. I've mostly been running around between this area, just bouncing between these, um, this set of islands here. 
Oh, they have two Fabukis. This is a proper battle. Yeah! Fletcher. Oh, this is a proper invasion force, fellas. Look at this. That's what I'm talking about. This is cool. Yeah, earlier I wasn't really seeing a lot of these uh, big engagements. It's mostly just smaller stuff. Alright, Torpedo 108. Torpedo 208. This should be a dead Fabuki. Again, Bill with his bar. He just has something against the Fabuki class. It's actually Aura. Dude's name is Aura, and he, he he's just going out blasting. Okay, we picked up the, those research points. Cool. All right, now there are like onshore installations that you have to clear out. Oh, that's actually a floating tank. Oh, it's actually it's dead now because it ate several five-inch shells to the face. I think that was it. They don't have any shore installations. It appears. All right, cool. Oh man, we have 3,000 RP from taking out that Fabuki. That is... Oh, we eliminated the Hatsuyuki. That was one of the targeted ships, or certain ships that are targeted. Uh, and I guess you get more for them. Because normally you take out a transport, it's 1,000. I mean, I would, have, I would assume taking out, you know, a Fabuki-class destroyer would warrant you some more. Yes, we can. Now we're really cooked. We got four fitties, a 20 millimeter. All right. Don't mind the patrol boat in the water. Oh, they saw us. Oh, they had good artillery too. I'm assuming we are easier to spot during the day. Guess they learned their lessons from last time. Uh oh, that's gonna hurt. Too bad it's not going to help you all that much. Whatever destroyer this is. Launch, launch it, launch the... Out. Mm. <laughs> Again, Bill with his VAR. Oh, the commander's overboard. That's, that, that's what's going on. Oh, yo, we actually sunk him? Only takes one torp. Okay, uh, can we get the commander back on here before, uh... Bill, they're dead! Stop! The, uh... Okay, I think we took most of the wind out of their sails with that, uh, DD getting knocked out. I think we're gonna go over here and help out with, uh... Lunga. I think that, that they should have another destroyer that we can, uh, vibe check. We have one heck of a landing force, though. More, oh my god, okay. He's dead. I'm not really sure they needed too much of our help here, but you know, we'll, we'll take the free points. Oh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> oh, there, there's our guys over there, okay. So it's a bunch of other small boats. And they got a destroyer. Alright, we'll see if we can sneak around and get this boy while he's distracted. Yusukumo. He's gonna ram one of our uh, minesweepers or whatever. Hey, that's not cool. You just defied the laws of physics. I just torpedoed my own man. Alright, that should be uh, good enough. Alright, fellas. Blast them. Pretty sure that was a war crime. That one got him. It got him. Rattle them, boys. <laughs> That's exactly what happens to a sub in World of Warships. It's Nakazuki, too. Alright, we're gonna do the old flanking maneuver. I'll give him both torps, because the one that we engaged earlier didn't seem to mind being shot with one torpedo. Those guys just got murdered by that Fletcher. Okay. Oh, buddy. That is... Oh, my God. 
How? How are you supposed to survive that? Good lord! Oh okay, um... Wow. Yeah. Okay guys, that's Boat Commander. Um, it's like 1 o'clock in the morning here. I've, I've been playing this most of the night. Um, it, it, it's a fun game for sure, and this is again an early access. Um, it's only 20 bucks, so again, half the price of a tier 8 premium, under half the price of a tier 8 premium ship. Um, would I recommend it? I mean, if you like what you saw here today, I would say, yeah, it's only 20 bucks. Go ahead, check it out. Uh, if this doesn't look like the type of game that interests you, yeah, pass it up for sure. But, I mean, shoot, I've been, I've been playing this for the past five hours, and it, it's some goofy fun. I like the mechanics. It, it's got a certain, I don't know, it, it's got this itch that demands to be scratched after you play it for a little bit, if you know what I mean. But, yeah, if you like what you see here, be sure to check it out. Again, you can find it on Steam and Early Access. If you enjoyed it, make sure to drop a like, leave a comment in the comments down below, and subscribe while you're down there, why don't you? Hope you guys have a great Sunday and a great rest of your week. Hope to catch you guys in the next one.